The story of the Otterstetter's tree hunt. They hiked around and searched for the perfect trees. It was rough terrain, but they kept on hiking. And then Bella came upon the perfect tree. And then Chloe came upon her perfect tree to realize it was way too big to fit in her room. So she went back and she was going to help Bella cut down her tree. Hatchet it down. Chloe started working. The hatchet didn't work, so she grabbed the saw, the hand saw, and she started sawing. It doesn't work. It won't cut. After Chloe thinking, the saw does not work. Bella decided that she would jump in and try to help her with the tree. I'll cut it down. So Bella worked at cutting the tree down. Do you want me to cut it down? My family needs sawing lessons. Jason cut down the tree after he realized his family needed sawing lessons. So the next tree, he said fooey with the saw, he's grabbing his chainsaw for the perfect tree for the Otterstetter's home. It's that time. Christmas time is here. Timber! Now one last tree needs to get Chloe's. Even though Bella has her tree and she is ready to head down the hill. But first, we have to cut down Chloe's tree. This was the perfect tree other than the 50 five foot one that she found first. Now, time to head back down the hill, so everybody has to carry their very own trees. There they go, Bella in the lead, parents next, and Chloe is coming. Here comes Chloe, heading down the hill. We did stop and tell her if she would flip the tree over, it would be a little easier to carry and she could drag it on the ground. And so she did. After getting the trees loaded, they did head down the hill going into the ditch three times and almost flipping the truck. But it was such a great experience. Once they got home, they started setting up their trees. Chloe's fit just perfectly in her room. Bella decorated hers just amazingly. But the prettiest one of all was the Otterstetter's Christmas tree, the Seahawks tree. 